Gemini, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment, and then we will focus on the upcoming events in the near future for you. All right, let's start with your messages right away. Oh, wow. This is actually one of the most beautiful messages I believe I've ever uh, given to you. This is almost like those videos that you see on YouTube, Instant Karma. Something that has been very painful for you, but that right now, a situation that it's going to be flipped completely. And someone is realizing something, but it might be too late. Uh, obviously, this is not instant. None of this has been instant. But there is definitely karma. And right now, the situation is about to turn in your favor. The first card that we see, six of wands, victory, public recognition, success, passion, and happiness. But at what cost? This is something that did not come easy for you. It's redemption. It's something that it's making you discover yourself into this very process. Yes, you've had to struggle and you've had to go through a lot. But at the same time, you're realizing things about yourself that you would have not be able to realize otherwise. You here, I see finally falling in love with yourself throughout the course of events and the universe is following your lead and obviously when we talk about the universe we talk about also the people around you there are people here starting to admire you even copying you after you achieve a specific milestone here which for some of you you have already achieved but for some of you, this still has to come up on the surface. We see people and we see especially one person who maybe you classified as the last person who would ever chase you like a little fan, like someone waiting for you, stalking you, obsessing about you. But this situation, you have to understand, has definitely a lot of layers to it. And... What's most important is how you're able to fly on top of this journey, like flying on top of a maze and see everything, understanding what happened, why it happened, and also being able to see how the rest of your journey is going to shape up from now on. You know, knowledge is definitely power. Awareness is power. And here, you are gaining a lot of it. Yes, this Three of Swords, it's something that each one of us would love to avoid and never experience. Tell me who you know who would want to end up with their heart broken, with their hopes ripped apart, finding themselves hitting rock bottom in a way that feels almost inhuman. No one. But the Three of Swords moments are important because they represent a state change. The usual example that I give here is, say that you feel very, very hot. It's very hot weather, weather and you have the ocean right there in front of you. You know that by getting into the ocean, you would feel much better. But you also know that as soon as you get into it, you're, you would feel like freezing. And that is what the Three of Swords represent. It's a state change that it's going to take you to a place where you're going to feel better and where the environment around you, it's going to be better overall for you. But the actual change from one state to the other can be painful. And that's what usually we try to avoid. But change is a constant for success. And this energy symbolizes that portal that can open up only through pain and struggle. 
that's the only way human beings really learn and evolve. It sucks, but unfortunately, that's what it is. And so what do you do? You sit there feel, feeling sorry for yourself? No, you take the pain and you use it as a tool to become stronger, to gain power. The pain can actually empower you like nothing else can. It's not about what's done to you. It's always about how you react to it. We see how, especially right here, you have the ability to transform all the bad things that were done to you with this three of swords into fuel so that you can fly higher than anyone else. And whatever you're about to do or perhaps are already doing, it's working, Gemini, big time. What I usually say here is, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade and then you sell it. You have to find a way to transform this pain into something that will give you abundance. Whether it is material abundance or emotional abundance, it doesn't matter. You have to turn the situation in your favor and you're doing that. And I see here someone, a person, potentially people, but especially one who is going to come back after perhaps breaking your heart in pieces. This is going to be such a redemption moment, Gemini, for you. I am so happy for you because I'm not saying that you're going to go back with this person, but at the same time, it's that moment that we all want to experience after a three of swords, when we see how we have grown, but the person that hurt us instead, it's still at the same level and we are way above them. Right here, we see someone coming in or wanting to come in because this for most of you hasn't manifested yet but it's working underneath the surface. What we are seeing is mostly the realization here. Someone who realizes that they have made a huge mistake, especially after seeing you with the six of wands. This might be you um, having fun, you know, uploading a picture where you are really living your best life. And this person thought of you as someone who was sad or who was just feeling sorry for themselves. Not at all. I don't think so. And so right here, we see that there is a lot of love still, a lot of passion. And the more time it passes, the more it grows. It's crazy. It's definitely very strong and it's getting even stronger. Now, with this Empress, I see you, Gemini. I see you, but also I see you through the eyes of this night. I see you finally shifting the focus, focusing on something else. Focusing on you, taking your energy somewhere else and turning your back on something or someone who at some point meant the world to you. And obviously we know who that might be. This energy is definitely contributing to how this person is feeling for you right now and this realization that they're having. You have truly gone through something major with the Three of Swords, even if you don't realize how big that was. That's really like dodging a bullet. And I see you do that often, Gemini. Some of you have really a tendency to repress pain. This is just something that maybe you do even on a subconscious level, but you repress and you do not analyze your feelings because of the fear to not be able to come back from it, if that makes sense. But you have to acknowledge that the pain that this three of swords gave to you that you have experienced up here was pretty heavy and definitely stressful. You are now taking the matter in your hands and you're saying when the thoughts of this person come back up, the memories you're saying, not today, Satan, my happiness is not going to be delayed by this, by you, no more. And this confidence and beauty it's making everyone wanting to be with you, especially this person. Seven of Cups, why am I keep saying you have a lot of people, a lot of things moving around you, happening around you? You see here that you have a lot of options, a ton actually. You might not know it yet, but as soon as you grow into your Empress energy, 
things will start to happen around you, evolve around you like never before. But I do believe that right now it's not time to jump into anything. I have to be honest. You're strong, but the new foundation you've built, it's still fresh. It needs some time to settle, especially considering what's about to come next. Look at this. We have the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords reversed. This is definitely showing a breaking point. And you are not the one breaking here, Gemini. This other person is. We were saying how this energy was working underneath the surface, was not showing up yet. You might have felt a tremor at some point. But you might have thought, uh, maybe I just uh, hall hallucinated it. But no, there was something coming your way. This person with the Six of Swords in reverse, obviously they cannot move on from you. They keep returning to the past. Whether they do it physically or mentally, emotionally, there are unresolved issues as far as they know. And they are questioning every single decision that they have made lately when it comes to you they know that you are moving on that you have moved on and they are trying to resist that change as much as they can this person seems to be falling apart especially after realizing that you are considering options after which they will forever lose you but what they don't realize is that they might have already lost you in fact not because of options, but because of what they originally did. They feel like they miss an arm or a leg here. Life isn't the same without you. And this is definitely something that it's serving them as a wake up call. And now they feel that this change is almost like their enemy. They need to do something about it. They need to fight it. They need to stand up in a way. Now, you were absolutely confident about your decision, but I do see with the Two of Swords confusion and now indecision. There is a piece of you that still responds to them and we, we need to analyze what that is because here now I see delay in decision. I see you at a crossroad not letting them, them know that you're interested, but at the same time, there is something within you that it's really impacted by something that this person is going to do or has already done. Maybe someone here is crying, someone is definitely acting desperate, and it's just like really impacting you. You know, I feel that right now they are experiencing what they made you experience back then. And so overall, I feel like you should prepare for a upcoming potential conversation here. All they want is to have some of your time in order to talk. And this conversation might once again change the dynamic between the two of you. Then let's look into this conversation. Let's see what this person truly wants to tell you right now, what they truly feel and how this connection is bound to evolve now that you have detached and now that this person has had this major realization about you, Gemini. Let's see what you should expect in the near future. Let's see how you should handle it. And let's see how your personal journey is going to evolve with or without this person in the next few months, few years. Let's look into it. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Gemini, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute live reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well, please. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this welcome back to your extended reading gemini the bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the future situation is the queen of wands and honestly i believe that in this context in this situation this is the best energy card message that you could have got at this point 
This is someone who does not care about what people think. Someone who's very proud of who they are. And even everything that they went through right now, they show it to the world. It's almost like wearing the pain on your chest as, as if it was a medal that you want to show to the universe, to the people around you. And right here, you're being also very honest. You're rising, raising your expectations and you are approaching this upcoming conversation with such power, with such determination. Right here, you have the potential to manifest something which perhaps in the past instead was definitely more complicated for you to manifest. There is something that has changed in you. And when something changes in you, it reflects in the environment around you as well. And it starts from within you, but then it continues with the people and the situations around you, the events around you. And so let's focus on those events and let's see what this two of swords decision is going to be about. I perceive that as being some sort of conversation, incoming communication that you'll have to decide on. But overall with the Queen of Wands, I know that you have a lot of power. Therefore, you might be taking this and as you've done in the past, transforming it into something that it will benefit you short and long term as well. So let's clarify this two of swords and let's see what's coming up in your near future. <laughs> I've just seen the six of wands again. Let's see if it comes up again. Oh my God. Speaking of manifestation, wow. This person now is coming in with a completely different type of energy, essence, approach, and it's going to really shock you. I know that. This person too.